I think the simple answer for why I do what I do is I care about and want to help people. I just really strongly believe that healthcare is a basic human right. And I almost think about it as like, how could I not spend my career working to expand access to care? When I came to Stanford Graduate School of Business, I felt this personal urgency to help people who have been impacted by mass incarceration specifically. And so I reached out to the Equal Justice Initiative, or EJI, in Montgomery, Alabama. For over 30 years, EJI has provided free legal representation to people who are incarcerated. I was fortunate to come in at a point where they were revisiting this long-standing desire to do something in direct services. Our lawyers saw firsthand through their clients the challenges in terms of trying to access basic healthcare services. It can be confusing and it can be hostile and just often just inadequate. So I got to work on a lot of the research, you know, if we were to do something in healthcare, what might be possible? What could this look like? As far as a free clinic serving people who are formerly incarcerated, there really wasn't anything like that in the state. And so I think EJI really kind of realized the need. I really wanted to be on the ground working with people every day. Just the opportunity to work at an organization with all of that background that was launching an initiative in the field that I really cared about, I basically was like, I'm in. <laughs> all of our services at the clinic are totally free for our patients. We do offer transportation to and from. Try and just like minimize all barriers to access, even the forms that we have patients fill out, very short really basic information. If someone can't get their medication, we go and deliver it to them. Lab results that would ordinarily take a week, two weeks, we're able to get those results back to our patients in 15, 20 minutes. You know, in addition to our physical site here in Montgomery, we have a mobile clinic that we take around the state, bringing care to where people are instead of having people needing to come to us. Part of what we're trying to do is rebuild trust in healthcare. It's really cool to see the arc of a visit, because most people come in and they're understandably nervous, and then our nurse takes them back and they see our doctors, and so many patients have said things like, oh, I've never had a doctor listen to me like that before, shake my hand and look me in the eye. And so by the time they leave, they're usually like laughing and joking. I hope we're showing that it is possible to provide high quality, warm, high touch care and lower the barrier to entry for healthcare for groups that historically have not had that type of access. I think health is essential for us being able to access all of our other basic human rights. We've created a space where people come and they feel dignified and they also feel encouraged and empowered by what's happening in their own health versus overwhelmed. It's a privilege for us, for our patients, to trust us with their care and so that continues to fuel why I do what I do. My name is Megan Hunter. My name is Marielle Luck. And I am a health manager. And I am a health manager at EJI Health. <laughs>